simple database application it doesn't really do much but it has a data module with a designer it uses fdmm table for the as a simple local database and then it has some pretty standard code for creating the output from a table and just logging it to the console or in this other case creating a string list writing to the string list so this is standard code you'd write on the windows platform and then i'm saving the file to the home path path delimiter list txt and just displaying where the location of the of the of the file this application um, uses uh, local storage and it loads a file is actually loaded by loading employee fds now i don't have to manually deploy the file to linux because i automatically have a um, deployment structure similar to the deployment structure that you would have on for a mobile application so i have my linux data executable here and my employee uh, FDS. This one uh, was from an old demo. I can actually delete it. Um, so when I, I can actually, I can run the application or I can just deploy the application. But before I do that, I need to get back. And now that I'm here, I just need to run PA server uh, 19 PA server. So now I have my target working here and I can hit the, I can just do the deployment if I want, or I can deploy and execute directly on the remote computer. So this is on my database data and then the data has been saved to home Marco. So let me quit PA server, check the local folder and there is this list txt file that I can examine and it's the list of the names of inside this database table. So very simple, very easy to handle, including uh, also including additional files is quite straightforward through the uh, standard deployment mechanism. And here I'm using very simple runtime library, database tables, file system operations, um, very smooth. Uh, and, and reasonably simple when moving from, from the Windows world.